Welcome to this demonstration. In today's demonstration, I will show you how you can create automation of spatial analysis in Oracle Analytics Cloud. It's a continuation of a previous demo that I did on how you can use Oracle Spatial Studio in conjunction with Oracle Analytics Cloud. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you watching it. I will provide the link in the description and I think it would give context to this video. So the reason for me doing this is because I showed this my first demo uh, at Oracle Cloud Day in Stockholm. And many customers and partners raised the question of automation. They liked the analysis, but they wanted to be able to automate this so they wouldn't have to do the spatial analysis every day for every new data set. So that's why I'm going to show you today how to create automation. So as you can see, we're back in uh, Oracle Analytics Cloud. And this is before we did our spatial uh, analysis. So we have our customers, we have the, the network and tomorrow's predicted storm that's rolling in. So in last demo, we exported the segments that was at risk through a CSV file and imported it into Oracle Analytics Cloud. And this is a way to do it. But if you want to achieve automation, it's better to call on that view that have been created because all spatial analysis in Oracle Spatial Studio creates a view in the database. So if we go over and look in Oracle Spatial Studio, we can see some of these layers that, uh, that have been created. So we have our data set with our power lines, but as you can see here, we also have spatial analysis data sets. So if I click properties on that one with the power lines at risk, we can actually go ahead and see what SQL query that was happening in the background when we was working in Spatial Studio. What columns were selected also from which data set, and also the actual algorithm in, the, in SQL that was performed. So in this case, within distance. So this is uh, quite powerful. You can go ahead and run this in SQL, uh, SQL Developer, for example. But in our case, we want to uh, make a call and import this view into our Oracle Analytics Cloud dashboard. So I will create the data set, but instead of dropping in the file, I will choose my database. And it's in admin, power lines at risk. Let's see. And if you remember from last demo, I only were interested in the studio ID. I'll go ahead and add that. I already imported that before. So we do a new import and we can actually see the studio ID here. So as if you remember, I was also creating an extra column to identify that these are the segments under risk. So status and then I will provide a string under risk done. I will go ahead and add this step and apply the script. And let's see if we can recreate what we did in the end of the last video. So we create another layer on the map. We can see our new view here. And we drag the studio ID and status as color. Let's see if they appear in a new color. Da, da, da. Yes, but they're green again. So this I didn't like. If you remember from the last video, under risk should be in red. I think most people are aligned in that opinion. Um, so we go ahead and done click done there 
it's loading again changing the color of the segments um, so if you bear with me and then the last thing we did was that we take took the studio ID as a filter to see how many customers would be affected if these power lines would go down uh, so 12,800 so we're back where the last video ended but we're now called uh, the, uh, the data as a view and it's not a, a Excel or a spreadsheet that have been imported so say now that we import new data we want to apply the same analysis that we created in Spatial Studio and then we would simply just replace the underlying data to just get uh, automatically the, the, the power lines at risk and customer at risk. Then we would integrate new data. So for that I would use SQL Developer. Ideally you would maybe use some more automated way of integration like uh, Oracle Integration Cloud for example. But for simple simplicity and demonstration wise I will show this in, in SQL Developer for this case. So I will see, I think I will have dropped my connection so I will actually go ahead and reconnect to my database. My experience tell me I have probably got dropped. Uh, and then we need to identify the table which we want to uh, import new data to. So it's actually this table with the four, no, this table, forecast uh, 19.12.06 at 8 o'clock. And what I will go, go ahead and do, first of all, is to uh, delete the data. So I have done already a query for that. Let's see if it works. It worked, 35,000 rows deleted. And I will go ahead and import data. So then I have a new forecast, say. And I will click next, next. Go ahead and assign to the right column in the database, lot. And the value is the gust in this case. Click next and finish. Sorry for the interface being in Swedish, but uh, I think you can follow uh, even though you have a client in another language. So there we go. Uh, the data was successfully imported. So let's have a look now again in Oracle Analytics Cloud. So if I go ahead here and I reload the data. So here you would uh, idly have a, a plugin doing an auto refresh. You don't have to do this manually. And I press OK. What we can see now is that customers that are under risk have increased to 88,000. And if we also have a look in the map once it gets updated, we can now see there is new segments that are also selected. So we change the underlying weather data and run the same spatial analysis. Uh, and we have done that in an automated way where the data, we were just changing the data. So let's have a look on the slide how you would set up this in a customer environment or in a real production environment to achieve automation. So here is an example of a technical architecture to achieve this automation. So you would integrate the weather data, in this case from SMHI in Sweden. And then you would have some type of integration tool, for example Oracle Integration Cloud, which allow scheduled integration of the weather data. So then depending on your requirements, you would integrate the data uh, every hour or maybe once a day. It all depends on your requirements. You would then uh, integrate it to a database, for example the autonomous database in the cloud. And you would then have 
in the view some kind of plugin. We have a plugin for auto refresh in Oracle Analytics Cloud. Uh, and this would refresh the view and you would get the new report automatically. The spatial analysis would be applied automatically and you can focus on the result that it delivers. And you can then go ahead and do reports or take further actions depending on the result that you see in the Oracle Analytics Cloud. Of course, if you want to change the conditions or create a new spatial analysis, you can go ahead and do so. You will create a new view and you can link to that view and then create automation on that view. So that's everything I'm going to say today in this demo. If you have any questions, you're free to reach out to me. I'm also planning on doing a part three where I will set up these dashboards in a web application through our program called uh, Oracle Apex, which is a low code uh, development tool, which is running completely on the database uh, infrastructure. So all logic runs on the database and you don't need a web server. So in case you are interested, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.